Here's the bee. Oh, come on, buddy. Are you trying to be born? What? This is like his first view of the sun. I wish he'd just like... Pulls. He was born on top of a trash can. I'm sure that's not where he wanted to be born. It, it, it's where... <laughs> yep, he trash can. Born a beehive, then the trash can. Yeah, let's see. Come on, buddy. I don't want you escaping into our house. I need to graft some eggs. The bees smell like honey. I might have to take you inside anyway. Maybe Tanner can keep an eye on you, just to make sure you don't. Wait, is this all capped honey? Yes, that is capped honey. Let's see if I can zoom out. So that's capped honey up here. You can feel it, touch it. Yep. What about um, these the little, brown stuff? Is that eggs? These are all uh, guys like this guy who are in the process of hatching. Uh, I'm actually interested in the other side of the frame, which, let me flip it over. The other side of the frame, let's see if I can change the viewing angle on this, has some glistening, almost looks like a pearly kind of stuff on the inside of those cells. Those are eggs that are maybe within 24 to 48 hours hatched. The, the yellow stuff surrounding it, like that, on the edge is pollen. And then the honey on the outside. So it's like in the middle, you've got the eggs. The pollen, which is their protein, is on the uh, shell. And then the honey's on the exterior. Serves as a food source as well as insulation for the what eggs. What about that red dot? That's a different kind of pollen right there. So pollen can come in a variety of different colors. And then that's more capped honey? Mm-hmm. Some yep. of the honey isn't capped, though. That's right, because it's still either nectar that isn't fully dehydrated, so it's not quite honey yet, or um, they've actually opened up the capped honey and they're using it to feed all the other bees. Dad, did you make the bee fall out? Nope, he's right there. And that guy can't even get out of his hole. <laughs> oh, he's working on it. So what they do is it starts out as the fully capped kind of cardboard looking stuff, and then they just start chewing. They start chew, chew, chew. On the card, on the... Mm. Wax in order to make yep. it easier yep. hole. Yeah, and they eat out a hole. And uh, I don't know how long this guy's going to take, but... He's getting close. Let me get him inside and see if I can take some of these eggs out. I'm going to try to... any others. Try to build some new queens. Oh, Dad, look, there's one right there that's hatching. Let's see. Wait, where is he? Right there. Oh, yep. Sure enough. It's... Barely starting to go. All right, the eggs are temperature sensitive and it's 58 degrees outside, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, he's very get him close. In. He sure is. Are you gonna come out yet, buddy? If he hatches, you could actually hold him in your hand and he's not gonna do anything to you. Because he doesn't have a stinger? And by the way, we keep saying he. This is definitively a she because the cell is flat. There's a lot of bees on there, so I might. Good call. All right. Okay, so it looks like the baby atta or psh, hatched, and she's actually crawling around. This is actually the other side of the frame, and you can see all the little larvae kind of swimming in their little royal jelly pools. I've taken some of them out and put them in these little cups like this, and I'm going to put these things... Uh, I fashioned a frame that I made. I'm gonna hang these inside the frame behind it, and we'll see if the hive itself will treat these things as new queen cells. In the meantime, I need to get her back home because mom's probably trying to find her baby. Got a question, dude? Yeah, what about the other bees? Have they hatched yet? Nope. There's two others? Not yet, they're still trying to come out. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. She's fun. By the way, when they hatch just like this, they, they will not sting. They're... How come they can't? Well, Do they have a stinger? They have one. They just don't really know how to use it. So, anyway, they're very... They're docile. I could put her in my hand and she'd be no big deal. See? Hello. Hello, bee. Well, if she does sting you by accident. Then I just deal with it. 
It's better than having a person stand here.